Hey everyone, Sam back once again, and today what I've got for you is a nice video on this phone. I um, don't know if you've heard of it, it's called the Nokia 808 Pureview. Yeah, let's be honest, we've all heard of this one, the 41 megapixel sensor. Yeah, it is um, pretty spectacular. It is, um, it takes a mobile phone, like, camera technology to the next step. So what I'm going to do first of all, just give you a rundown of the actual hardware, show what it looks like, um, and then obviously we'll show you some of the software. So what we'll do is start on the front of the device. So it does run Symbian. So obviously you've got your nice Nokia logo at the top there. Now there's a front face cam, which is a VGA camera, which it can't, it's not going to be used for actually taking pictures, it's just used for like video calling. And at the bottom here, don't know if you can see, it's a bit of a difficult one. Let's try and show you. We've got your power button, this is your menu button, obviously we'll unlock. And then here, effectively turns it to your phone button. There we go. So hopefully you can see it a bit, you know, like decent-ish. Sorry for, you know, it's on my, I'm doing this on the mic in my hotel bed. Um, it's a prototype, so, you know, I've been very lucky to actually get my hands on this. I've had it for the last uh, day and a half. Um, and I've been playing with it and I thought, right, got to get a video shot because I've got to send it, got to give this back in about 10 minutes time. So, yeah. Thought I'd shoot this video for you guys because not a lot of people have got their hands on these and yeah I, I've been lucky enough to have actually the red one you know for about 24 hours now. So you can see it does run Symbian but we'll come back to that in a little bit. So anyway, front of the device it's got an NHD screen so it's not like super high resolution but you'll actually when you might actually do play with the screen it's actually really really sexy. Now it is a all all OLED screen so you know, it's going to look fantastic. You know, pretty much like all of the Nokia ones that they've done without the clear black technology. It just looks very, very sexy. Bottom of the device here, as you can see, it's got like a little strap there where you can be able to put a lanyard. A lanyard will come in the actual retail box. Um, I believe this is an external mic, another microphone. So you've got one microphone there. Go on here, you've got your dedicated camera button and your lock switch. So that's to turn your actual screen on and off. So you just what you do is kind of pop it down, pop it down. That's that there. You've got your volume up and down. I must say the tactile feedback on these and the actual buttons here are very, very sexy. So over the top, as you can see there, yeah, it's got a 3.5mm headphone jack. It's got also got the micro USB with HDMI and an external mic another microphone, external microphone Sam, another microphone. And on this side here, it is just completely flush. Fantastic. Jump onto the back of the device. As you've seen here, it's got a nice brand new Locky Nokia brand new logo. Now it has a, an, an, a Xeon flash, which is for taking still pictures, and LED when you're using it for video, so you get the best of both worlds. You've also got your 41 megapixel sensor, which is obviously the Carl Zeiss, which is capable of doing 41 megapixels. Yeah, it's a pretty extreme, but when you see the quality of it, you'll be like, wow, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the actual pictures it takes, um, if you're using like the normal mode, you can do, I believe it's 3, 5 and 8. But you can actually bump it up to the full resolution um, if you would like. If you use the pure view technology, which I would recommend, you get a lot better picture, but you get to like 8, to eight, eight 5, and 3 megapixels. So, I mean, I'll, I'll cover the actual pure view technology in a later video. This just to basically give you a quick look at the actual phone itself. Um, I'll just show you how snappy the camera is. So, basically, to turn the camera on, just tap a button, the actual camera button, it loads straight into the actual application itself. So what we'll do is we'll just take a quick picture now only is of the bed, but we'll show what it looks like. So I tap. Now that's record, that's actually doing a video, my apologies. So as you can see on here, so what we'll do is take a quick picture. There we go, it's taking it. And we'll do another one. I think I agree. Pretty damn speedy. The whole processing power behind it all it is pretty fantastic. Now, yeah, it is running Symbian, and that's pretty much the only downside that I've actually seen in the device. I'm not a fan of Symbian, is the honest answer. Um, and I'll cover off why it's running Symbian um, in another later video. But it's not too bad. It's just, to me, the applications are lacking, and that's the, the main thing about it. It's pretty swish, you know. It looks decent, but it's just honestly, it's not for me. But, you know, it's just how it, it is how it is. But I think you'll agree the actual screen itself looks very, very nice. How sexy does that look? So that's it people, let's just look at the 808 Pureview. Again, sorry I'm actually, I can't do like a full in-depth videos like I've done previously, but 
you know, I've got a lot of coverage, I've got a lot of videos I've taken, a lot of stills, and that's when it's that's mainly what I want to see. Because it's all about the actual pure view technology with that 40 megapixels. The phone itself, it's good, but I wouldn't recommend the f if you're looking to get a smartphone, but you think, oh camera's okay, I wouldn't personally recommend getting it just for that. If you're getting it just for a camera, then this is the ultimate camera phone on the market. Anyway people, thanks for watching. Any other questions you know what to do, hit them up down below. And I shall see you in the next video. Cheers everyone.